So today we're going to take a look at a speed test and also a comparison between the Samsung S10e and also the iPhone XR. This comparison was more or less asked uh, by some of my viewers for a while now. As I'm on this note, I'm apologizing to my viewers for not being more frequent in uploading videos. At this time frame, I'm actually upgrading some equipment um, to bring a better viewing experience to you guys. So, bear with me a little, things will be back on stream very frequently very soon. Okay, so let's get into this comparison and let's see how I can help you decide which of these two devices you should pick up. Let's just briefly uh, talk about the overall specs here. Um, on the S10e, we do have a 1080p panel that's very sharp, that's very vibrant. Um, on the iPhone XR, you have a 720p panel. Uh, it's not that bright and vibrant. Um, I will actually compare it to the iPhone X's display. And the iPhone X's display is way better than the iPhone XR's display. Uh, the iPhone X's display is a little more brighter, it's a little more sharper, a little more vibrant. And to me, the iPhone XR display looks a bit dull. To me, it's not that bad, but for that price point, I think Apple should have at least given us a 1080p panel on this device. All right, so overall size of the devices, as you can see, the S10e is a bit smaller uh, than its competitor, um, but the feeling in hand is, is quite different though. Um, the S10e feels much more premium than the iPhone XR. I must say that the S10e, it feels very good in my hands. Even though I like big phones, this compact phone from Samsung is one of a kind. So yes, the S10e um, already has some things going for it. Better display, um, of course, battery life and also charging will be better as well on the S10e. These devices are always compared to each other mainly because of their price points. Now, this all comes down to personal preference. So, you will decide at the end of this video. Hopefully, I make that decision for you clearer. And also, if you guys would like to see me do a camera comparison between these two, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so let's get into the actual speed test now. Let's go.
have it. So it comes back down to preference. Now, to me, I, I believe that the S10e has, the S10e did a better job at actually opening, closing apps. Even though the animation at times were a bit slow, this could be adjusted um, in the developer settings of the phone itself. Now, overall memory management of these both devices are very good. Uh, with the exception of the games, I, I have tend to notice that iPhones usually open games, especially high graphic games, very fast or faster than even the Samsung's flagships. So that's something to note there if you're going to use the phone for what mainly gaming. That's basically your preference. But both of these devices are very good devices. Alright folks, so that should be it for the day. Look out for more. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, share this channel, share my videos. It's all about tech education for me. So, see you on the next one. Bless.